everybody, it's Doll Trick, and on today's episode of A Trick A Day, we are going to take a look at resizing the mixer area in live. It's a pretty straightforward trick that I like to share, but I found it really useful, so I hope that you do too. Now, in live, when you open it by default, usually the mixer section will look something about this size. But if you click on this little bar that's over here between the sends, section and between the track volume fader, you'll get this little icon that pops up and clicking on this, when you drag up and down, you'll be able to resize this mixer section. This can be useful for a number of ways. For example, if I'm over here and if I just click and drag up very slightly, you'll notice that a secondary box pops up and this is the exact value of the track volume. If I had brought this down back to its original state, you'll notice that I don't actually know what volume I'm at when I'm just clicking and dragging the fader up and down. Of course, there is a tiny indication at the lower left of live, but it would be nice also to maybe have some kind of visual indicator. So I'm going to click on this, drag this up, and now I can see ah, I'm at exactly minus 17 dB on this particular track fader. I've also found it really helpful to just make the track volume faders pretty big, especially if I'm using Session View to mix um, a project or to do any kind of live performance too, so that I can see more detailed increments of how I'm managing volumes. Or if I don't need to see it, or I don't need to see too much of it, I can also click and make it smaller too. And this is helpful maybe if I'm just focusing on muting tracks, or if I'm just focusing on soloing tracks, arming them as well, um, or even doing things like focusing on panning or sends and returns. So things where I don't really have to focus too much on specific volume numbers. For me personally though, and you might've seen this in a lot of my other videos too, I enjoy having the size just right about here so that I can have the box available with the actual value of the track volume. And that's how you would go about resizing the mixer. That's the little trick for today. <laughs> and if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, share, subscribe, um, and hit the notification bell so that you can be updated for whenever I have a new video that's out and a new trick to share with all of you. Uh, but until next time, thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bell trick.